Hi, I'm Dr. Gary Rademacher with Downtowns Healthcare. Today I'm going to share some amazing information with you regarding research on regenerative medicine using stem cells. In the last 10 to 20 years, there's been an extensive amount of new research being conducted on stem cells. Research on regenerative medicine using stem cells goes back over 100 years and was published in the American Medical Association Journal. Most recently, there have been studies that have covered a variety of conditions and a variety of topics. You can find a list of these research articles and studies at clinicaltrials.gov. If you type in stem cells, you're going to find over 5,000 research projects and studies that are currently being conducted or have been conducted. And the amazing thing about these studies is that the majority of them are not for orthopedic conditions, meaning the majority of them are not for knee pain, back pain, or shoulder pain. Most of them are for condition, conditions such as Parkinson's disease and other neurological conditions like autism, as well as multiple sclerosis and other autoimmune conditions like rheumatoid arthritis. There are a lot of different conditions out there that have been researched. Diabetes is another. The list goes on and on. Duke University did one of the biggest and most comprehensive studies to date with stem cells and autism. They did a study that was published just a couple of years ago showing that kids who had autism had huge improvements in their condition after being treated with umbilical cord stem cells. Some of these children wouldn't even hug their own parents. After the treatment, they were able to hug their own parents. And as a parent with two kids myself, I don't know if you could even put a price on that. It's absolutely amazing what is being achieved in the medical frontier and the research with stem cells. So what does Duke University do? They had to make the study 10 times bigger to definitively prove that there was some actual benefit and it wasn't just a coincidence. Of course, it wasn't a coincidence. One of the other large studies was done by the Mayo Clinic on knees. They did an injection of stem cells in the knees. They x-rayed the patient prior to the injection and again over a year later. What they saw was an increase in space between the femur and the tibia which means an increase in space where the cartilage and meniscus sit in the body. What this tells us is that those tissues had actually regenerated and created more space in that joint, more cushion. There are a lot of other examples of research that currently being conducted on stem cells. News articles are coming out every day about it helping with HIV, with cancer, and pretty much any condition you can think of. Regenerative medicine is the future. And the good news is that it's here now and it's available. If you found this interesting or have any questions, let us know. Please share or write a comment and we'll be in touch. Thanks.